Hey everyone, it's Benny here, and th this video I have 147,456 bytes, not bits, bytes of pure vanilla redstone memory. This is, to my knowledge, the absolute largest amount of memory in a single space that anyone has ever produced, and there's no subtle tr there's no special trickery going on here. It's it all fits in render distance. It's all vanilla redstone. It's it's all functioning. There's no weird glitching out if you do some certain things. Now this is absolutely in insane amount of memory in one space, and this isn't all you could fit in this space. You could fit if you want to stack this thing all the way up to the ceiling, like the sky, rather not the ceiling, but if you, yeah, if you want to do that, then this could have I have over a megabyte of memory in one space, at, which would be absolutely insane for redstone memory, first of all. It would be completely unnecessary, second of all, and third of all, it would probably destroy your computer. And that's why I'm not doing it. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you what this looks like, and hope it doesn't crash Minecraft now. And, yeah, this is what it looks like from the top. Like I said, it all fits into render distance, it just renders really, really slowly because there's so much redstone going on under it. And I'll show you how this works in a moment. Right now I'm just going to sort of just pan around and show you how the whole thing looks like. Yeah, it's big. And it will fit all into render distance. We have render distance set to far. And yeah, this is what it looks like from the back. All this redstone might look unnecessary, but it's actually really important, and you get the ever so famous lighting glitch just to brighten your day a little bit. And here are all the many layers of repeaters that are used in this. And yeah, so you've seen the 147,000 bytes of memory. I'm not going to actually use this because it's probably going to destroy. Well, you know what? Why not? Why not give it a shot? And if Minecraft crashes, well, too bad. I'm gonna try to save one byte or bit, I should say, of information into here. The way I do this is I put a repeater here. This should be one of my inputs. And if I send power, okay, that's apparently not where my input is. I knew it was. Wait, was it right here? I I'm sorry. I didn't actually label them when I... Oh no, there it is! There's my one bit of information. Just traveling along the infinite... Yeah. And basically the bit just travels around in a circle and that's how it's maintained. So it works. I I'll show you how it works in a bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna fly over here and get a much better frame rate because that thing's d destroying my frame rate. And I'm going to show you how this works. So, I'm going to build one byte of memory. So the way this works is I'll need four repeaters set to free delay. Two, two torches like this. A block. Two blocks. Four more repeaters set to free delay. and some locks like this and now you have one byte of memory and this one right here if I can actually put my block there the one at the top is going to control setting it to one and oh actually that sort of doubles that's, and that's not exactly what I want so I'm going to fix this So actually, hang on, before I do that, right here, this is the refresh command, I'm going to disable it. Let me just explain how the command works. This one writes a 1, I'm pretty sure. Um, no, that writes a 0. Okay, this one writes a 1. So I've written two 1s to memory. And this right here is the refresh command. If you send power to it, it's not going to refresh, otherwise it will refresh. That's because it's using something called delay line memory. 
and it's a lot like a clock in many senses, but it's carrying information instead of just pulses. So, for example, I could write zero, 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 and now I've got a couple of zeros moving around. In fact, yeah, I've got five zeros moving around. I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, looks like it. Actually, it might be four, but oh well, it's hard to count. And your output's gonna be right here. And there you go. And it's just constantly reading it because it's cycling all the way around and around. And yeah, yeah. It's also one of the slowest forms of memory I've ever seen. In fact, I'm just going to pull my calculator if it, if it still even works. And, uh, let's see, where is it? Here, okay, here we go. So, now, there's three ticks, and there's a total of 64 down that line. And it's also 64 back, so it's 3 times 128. So it's 38.4 seconds for the memory that big giant memory system right there not the fastest at all considering it takes 30 seconds to work but it's a very 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 long delay line this is crazy amount of memory in one space so I just want to show you that I thought you might be interested in seeing 147 kilobytes of memory in Minecraft made pure vanilla redstone <laughs> and yeah Thanks, see you next time.